Hello again. Today we're going to talk about integers and the number line. So some, hopefully something's already come to mind when you hear the word integer. And most people think of, oh, it's a negative number. Oh, we have our positives. So that's just what it is. Negative and positive whole numbers and zero. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this so I can show you guys along the way. So we have our integers. Our negatives are over here to the left and our positives are over here to the right. We use a number line to help us order numbers because remember mathematicians like to have things in order so when they can um, place numbers in order it makes them happy. So here are five numbers that I want you to go ahead and order on this number line. So we'll just go one by one. So positive four would go over here. Negative five would go here. Zero would go over here. Three and negative two. So once I've ordered my numbers, I can make statements about them. I could say a negative five is less than negative two. I could also say that negative five is less than zero. I could say negative five is less than four. Just like we know three is less than four. But when it's on the number line, it's easy to see whatever number is on the, le the left is going to be less than. So I always like to say left is less. One of the other things we deal with integers is we talk about absolute value. And what that is is just the distance the number is from zero on the number line. So I like to call it the happy box. And here's what I mean by that. So we have these two little lines and that's your box and you throw a number goes in here. Whatever number goes in the box, it's always gonna come out a positive number. And positive being happy. So again, it's always gonna be positive. So we have our number line if you wanna use that to help us. So I look to say the absolute value of five is positive five. So I have five right here and it would take me one, two, three, four, five. Because remember, it's the distance between the number and zero. So it, distance of five. And just like if I had negative five, but it's on the left side of the number line, it would still be a positive number. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change the color so when we know that we're dealing with the negative. So negative five is gonna be over here, but it would be a distance of one, two, three, four, five away from zero. So here's just another example. I'm dropping in a 17 into our happy box. It's going to come out a positive 17. I'm dropping in a negative six. It's going to come out of the happy box a positive six. Now this next one's a little bit tricky. So the way I would read this is negative one times neg the absolute value of negative three. And the reason I know that there's a one in here, whenever I see that negative sign, it, there really is a one next to it. We just don't write it because we want to be efficient. Mathematicians like to be efficient. And then when a negative is smacked up against a parenthesis, or in this case, the absolute value sign, it's going to be multiplica multiplication. So here we go. The absolute value of negative three, you can kind of think about it as a parenthesis, and the order of operation tells us we need to, need to do this first. So the absolute value of negative three is a positive three, and then I'm gonna multiply that by the negative one to get negative three. So again, that one's a little tricky. I just threw there and that one in there to challenge you. So in addition to talking about absolute value, we also talk about opposites. And I like to think about these as being twins just on the other side of zero on the number line. So here we go. The definition is two numbers that are the same distance from zero but on opposite sides of zero on the number line. So here's my example. Negative four, we have all the way over here. Again, that would be one, two, three, four steps. And then I'll just change the color again, just because it's fun and makes it 
that I'm talking about a different number. And then I have positive 4, and that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 away from 0. So they're the same distance from 0, just on the opposite sides. So if you had a twin, you could be on the left side, and your other twin could be on the other side of the 0. So go ahead and write the opposite of these integers. The opposite of 7, so the positive 7 would be over here. The opposite of it would be all the way over here on the negative, so negative 7. And then we have negative 5. So if I was looking at negative 5, the opposite, it wouldn't be negative 3, wouldn't be negative 5 again. The opposite would be all the way over here. positive 5. Okay, so that takes us through today. Again, it's pretty simple lesson. Uh, hopefully some of the definitions um, are coming back to you in regards to the absolute value and opposites. We'll see you in class tomorrow.